In case you haven't heard, we have a board at the back of my classroom where students can ask questions, and then we're supposed to research and answer them on Wednesdays. Let me just show you something real fast. We've got some interesting questions. What's a Teletubby? How are trains made? Then it starts getting deep. Why do we have birthdays? What is the purpose in life? I, I just don't know if that's a question we can answer on a Wednesday in class. Hello, howdy everybody. I thought today after school, I would show you how I lesson plan for the upcoming week. I typically do my planning on Wednesdays if all goes well. That's my day off from the gym after school and so I usually stay later on Wednesdays and do my planning. So. I thought I would show you how I do that. If you think this is interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, here we go. So the first thing I do after looking at what I'm going to be teaching is come and get the file that matches to the content. So we're teaching measurement next week, so I'll grab my measurement file. And then the other thing I do is I'll come and check in my language folder. I have anything in there because sometimes I'll put like a book or something that matches to it. Doesn't look like I have anything extra. Okay, so I'll take what I have and then my other supplies will be on my computer. Alrighty, the next thing I do is make a copy of my lesson plan template. This is my weekly schedule with some things filled in already. And I use this every week to make my lesson plans. I used it last year, less colorfully. So here's the one for next week. We have the day off on Monday, so I blacked that out and I've already started filling some things in that I copied and pasted from stuff last year and I've started adding already for this year. So that's how I do my weekly lesson plan. I also have a lesson plan book that I keep. If I open it for the right month, it will actually look nice. That has a overview for the month. You'll notice that there's no like official lesson plan other than like look measurement will take up this time and there's the hundredth day and I have a sub that day and I kind of just sketch out the month there. So those are my two planning resources and what I'll do is kind of fill that plan into here and then using those folders that I pulled with my resources and the folders that I have on my computer, which you can't see, they're all back here, I will fill in these spaces until it looks something like this with a little bit more filled in plans. Some days are still really short because I don't need a ton of notes to help me like this is use that page and then do the lesson in the book. That was a book lesson day. So they'll kind of have some notes in there and that way, for example here, this is highlighted yellow because we didn't get to do that today. So then when I go back and look at these plans next year, I can look back on what I did and what worked and what didn't. So those are my templates that I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through things and fill this out. The floor now and this is not typical for weekly lesson planning but we're getting ready to start a new unit next week and I'm realizing that up until this point I haven't had this unit set up very well I don't like the way that I progress through it and I have so many different resources for this that I'm not totally clear on which lessons I want to use so here's what I'm currently doing I am now on the floor with our district provided math curriculum book with the Georgia Math Core, which is free online and has awesome exploratory lessons with my file folder of previously used measurements with my computer with the Utah standards. And I'm making a table. These are our four standards I need to meet. I'm gonna fill in which lesson I wanna use slash how I want to meet those. And then probably I'll add in an estimate of how many days that will take or what additional activities I wanna do. And then I'll plan that in an order in which logical order I think I should do those. So I'm building a unit for many things. This is abnormal, but this is what I'm doing. Things are deteriorating rapidly. I'm now like full on laying on the floor instead of just sitting here. But I think I'm done with my planning, so I'll show you really fast what I got accomplished, and I think we can wrap this up. Okay, I've never done anything like this before, but I really liked this. So the purple 
is the standards. The blue is the lessons I can use to meet those standards. Green is fun projects that practice it. And then I made this little calendar and wrote in all those different lessons. And then over here, this set of arrows on the side is the progression, like how I was going to put it together. So I've planned my whole measurement unit. That went well. And then I, here now you can see this is the folders where all my other stuff is. So it's basically a filing cabinet on my computer. I filled in, wrong week, all the lessons here. Now I will say my language arts is a bit rough right now, but that's okay. I planned what I'm doing for guided reading centers. Got a writing planned, math is planned out all well, and I just sent all the copies I'm gonna need to the printer, printer, yes, so that I can go and turn in those copies. Okay, so you saw me do this earlier in the video, but I went and grabbed the folders I needed that have my paper master copies of things that I'm gonna be using in the next couple of weeks. Let me show you how I'm gonna then organize my copies and those folders that I have them on hand over the next couple of weeks. So I've got my lessons planned, I've put away all the big manuals that I don't need, and now let me show you where I keep the things that I will need. Okay, so I have this super lovely file organizer over here where I keep all my copies for the week. I found that for me, organize, organizing them, organizing them, organizing them by day works best. So I literally just use sticky notes to label which day they were, that's why they're coming off. So I've got copies that I need for each day there. I also have one that's just standard black lines, which are things that I make copies of regularly, A to grade, and then I just put all my things that I need to put away there, and then when that gets super full, then I put them away. Then I have filing drawers on my desk, and so right here, I keep not only files that I need all the time, but I keep what we're working on right now. So like right now we're working on main idea. I'll keep my main idea folder in there. The measurement folder that I pulled because we're starting measurement will now go in here. So I have easy access to black lines that I haven't made copies of yet, but maybe want to look through and make copies of for upcoming things. So once I have gone through all the different things that I need to go through. I didn't mention this, but I look at our curriculum map to see what I'm supposed to be doing for math. And then I use the teacher's guide, which is a website to look at what I'll be teaching in our language arts curriculum the next week. I put all that together. I've built my lesson plan in my Google doc and I've sent my copies for the week. That's all I do on Wednesday. Everything else to get ready for the next week is on my Friday to-do list, which I talked about in my last video. And I use that to kind of make sure I've got everything prepped little things for the next week. So I'm going to head down to the copy room and turn in my copies. Yes, we are a school. We do not make our own copies. We turn them in. Pros and cons to this. So far, I like it okay. So I'm going to go get that done and I am going to be finished for tonight. It is 6 p.m. So it's time to go home. Just kidding. I just remembered I have to go to Walmart to pick up M&Ms for our activity tomorrow. So that'll be fun. So I'm going to run to Walmart. But that's everything planned for next week. I hope you enjoyed watching how I organize myself. Sorry if this turned into a little bit of a snooze fest, but some people want to know how organization works in my life. And now you know. I'm going to leave you now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See ya. Sometimes I think I'm absolutely hilarious. I just had two little boys out at recess who are standing there staring into the classroom, like reading what I was writing on the board and watching my every move. They don't know that I can hear them through the window, so I walked around the edge of my classroom over to the side. So I was right next to the window, but they didn't see me coming over there. So the little boy peeks his head around the window, and my face is right there. <laughs> he was like, ah, she's right there. I thought it was pretty hilarious. Pretty proud of myself, actually.